using transitions is is great for your writing however it's it's often hard to think about transitions when you haven't practiced it so let's review transition words are used to link sentences and ideas we learned that in the previous lesson if you use them correctly your writing will be easier to understand and sound more mature now as you're going along in your reading look for transitions you're reading a newspaper a magazine or even a book see where they transition see how it flows and notice how they use the uh, use words to help their writing and then try that in your own so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do practice I'm gonna give you an example and show you exactly how I'd like you to do it and then you can review and get ready for tomorrow to do this in class so for the practice I want you to use transitions these words in the box down uh, below in each group you in each number one through fifteen use only one of the words for each of the sentences read them carefully so that you can choose the appropriate one sometimes you'll have to capitalize and that's when a transition word comes at the beginning of a sentence what you need to do is delete the line and then add in the word and highlight it yellow so if we look at number one it says I would like to see you tomorrow let's have lunch together so right here we need a word that continues our thought so I have some words in this list but if I want to really know I'm gonna to go to my word list and I look at words that say to indicate more information so that means I have a thought but I have more information coming so if I look right here I see the word words in fact which is a phrase not just a word and I go back to my practice I have the words in fact so if I copy this delete this line and paste my word and then do what the directions say highlight it yellow I can then read to see what I have I would like to see you tomorrow in fact let's have lunch together now that flows and connects two ideas but it has a furthering idea and down at the bottom there's even more practice where you have to create your own original sentence for this and use your word list if you're not sure of how each of these transition words works so what we've talked about is tra using transition words to make our writing flow and actually feel good the last thing I'd like you to think about is you you won't do this until tomorrow when you come in however I'd like you to think about how and what each of these sentences how they transition and if you re revert back to the previous lesson where we see the five uses of transition words adding new information or continuing changing directions comparing cause and effect order sequence and emphasizing repeat these are the five ways that we signal transition think about 1 through 15 which one each of these are and be ready to talk about it in class